Hi, I'm in Norway, surrounded by the most beautiful nature. And in Scandinavia, lots of bilberries grow. Today I'd like to introduce you to someone who really has a crush on those little berries. Hello. Yes, nice to see you. So you're, you really do love those berries, don't you? Yes, they are fantastic. Actually, it started uh, 30 years ago at the University of Bergen. They were um, looking for uh, substances that had uh, medical effects. Uh, they actually scanned about 5,000 different plants and they found that some molecules in blueberries were extremely good. Those substances are called anthocyanins. We used them, 17 of those, putting, it, putting them into a capsule and then we started making Middox. Here we've got those uh, little power berries, um, but they look very different from the ones I know from the German supermarket. What's the difference? Yeah, they are very different. If you see when I'm crushing this, mm -hmm. you can see that it is black or blue color mm -hmm. all through. If you do the same with the berry that you buy on the supermarket, it'll be white inside. Meaning that um, there will be more anthocyanins in this little berry here from the woods than there will be on the berry that you buy on the supermarket. And actually the anthocyanins are the immune system for the berries, meaning that if they have very bad growing conditions with little sun, much rain, much wind and cold weather, there is more anthocyanins in the berries that have been grown in the wood than those that have been grown in a greenhouse or further south, you know. You do use the power of those anthocyanins from the berries for Maddox, so would you mind showing me the production process? Yes, I would be very glad to do that. Evonik acquired Maddox producer Med Palette in the Norwegian town of Sandnes in 2016. The plant is in the south of the country and has only about 20 employees, which makes it one of the smallest in the entire Evonik group. So, so this is how the berries arrive here? Yes, this is how the berries arrived from um, the northern Scandinavian woods and uh, they are highly concentrated when they arrive here. It's mostly shell, uh, blueberry shells, uh, in order to get the optimum uh, concentration of anthocyanins. So um, if we should uh, proceed looking into the um, uh, process, we could ask uh, my friend Frederick to explain a little bit about that. Day process. Hi Frederick, nice, nice to meet you. This is the first step. We put the bilberry press cake into these tanks and we do the extraction. Uh, we start uh, the tank so that they are moving a bit and then the anthocyanin from the bilberry press cake will end up in the liquid Perfect. instead of the press cake. So what's happening here? This is our evaporator and this is our concentration step where we remove a lot of the liquid to concentrate the product. And next uh, the product will go into further purification steps. Yeah. Let's see, so we've got some columns here. These are columns and we add our anthocyanins from the top. The anthocyanins, they will bind to the column material and stay there. And free acids and sugars will flush out with the purified water. So the anthocyanins, they will stay there for some hours and we will collect them later on in, in a fraction. This machine dries the liquid. The result is a dark, fine powder. It is put in the capsule. So I'm coming right from the production process Frederick showed me. I brought the product with me. So how do I know that the power of the anthocyanins from the berries is still inside? Well, I think that the best thing we could do is actually to open it up and then we can see it within uh, inside the capsules. Mm -hmm. If we put this into the water, mm -hmm. we should actually see how it dissolves oh. and how much color there will be from it. You can see now that it's really coming up. There's a lot of anthocyanins there. 
So, and have studies been carried out uh, concerning the power of those anticyanins from the berries? There have been 19 uh, larger uh, clinical studies uh, on uh, human beings. Uh, they are performed uh, in universities all over the world. So the main me uh, message from these uh, studies is that anthocyanins are able to lower chronic inflammation. Let me thank you very much for this interesting day. I was very impressed by the power of these little berries and I hope you enjoyed the Bilberry trip as much as I did. See ya! Evonik. Kraft für Neues.